Before we actually take anything apart, this is a good time to do a good visual inspection of the brake system. A couple things I'm looking for here. For one, to make sure that the brake's free. Well, right now the, the transmission's in gear, so I can't turn it a complete revolution, but I can tell that it's free. Something else to look at, too, is you want to take a good look at the brake hoses. You want to look to make sure there's no cracks in the hoses. You want to check all the caliper hardware, make sure everything's in place, make sure the caliper is not real loose. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and take the caliper off, take a good look at the disc pads and see what condition they're in. The two mounting bolts for the caliper are actually slide pins. If you look at the bolt real close, you can see that it's threaded on one part, and then we have a smooth surface on the second part. This is also a good time to inspect the pins to make sure there's no wear on it. You shouldn't be able to feel anything with your fingernail when you run it across it. This is an anti-rattle clip. This just snaps out of its hole. There it goes. The next thing I need to do now is go ahead and take the caliper bracket off, then I can go and take the rotor off. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take the rotor off. Before I do that, though, I've got the caliper just sitting on top of the rotor. I don't want the caliper to, to be hanging by the, the hose. If I do, it'll actually damage the inside of the hose. This is a good time just to take a, just a regular piece of wire. We can attach it to our spring on our coils, our strut here. And we'll just go ahead and hang it up, get it out of our way. We'll be working on it later, but for right now, that'll get it out of the way for us. There we are. We're just going to go ahead and replace the rotors now, put the new disc pads on it. We should be good to go. On the caliper, what we need to do to it, let's go ahead and unhook it now. Just leave our hanger handy because we might be hooking it right back up on there. There's the piston that actually applies against the inboard pad. Before we can put the new pads on here and the new rotors, we need to push the piston back into its bore, and there's a trick about that. What we want to do, when we push the piston back in, we want to expel the old fluid right from the bleeder screw. Now to do that's real simple. What we'll do, we use a C-clamp, put the threaded in, I can go right into the hole of the caliper piston and get it set. You don't want to tighten it right now, we just want to get it set into place. Just a little bit of pressure, just like that. Now it's to the point, I'll go ahead and open up the bleeder screw. You don't want to open the bleeder screw until the C-clamp's in place or you could have air enter into the system. Okay, with it open, we're already losing fluid. You want to have a, a pan to capture it in. Okay, we get to the very bottom like that. You don't want to over-tighten it. Just hold it like that and go ahead and tighten your bleeder back up. Check the dust seal on the outside of the caliper. Make sure it's not ruptured. If it is, you either need to rebuild the caliper or replace it because debris will be allowed to get in there and it can make that brake lock up. Take some brake cleaner, spray everything down real well, get it all cleaned up and we'll be ready to put our new parts on. And this is our replacement rotor and if you look at this, there's a protective film on this to stop any surface rust while sitting on the shelf. We want to take some brake cleaner and go ahead and wash this off before we put it on the vehicle. It's important to lubricate all those slide and contact points. We use the right type brake lubricant. This is meant for the brake system. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and remove our old caliper hardware and install our new hardware and finish putting the rest of the new parts on. On our bushings, I'm going to go ahead and lubricate those before I put them back into the caliper. Okay, we've got them snugged up, and we're going to go ahead and torque in the specification. Okay. 
We also want to put some lubricant on our disc pads. This is our inboard pad. You can tell by looking at it, there's a, a visible difference. You can see the retainer where this snaps into the piston on the inboard pad to keep it still. And then on the front pad, the same thing. We want to apply lubricant onto the shim on both of those areas. You also want to lube these two areas of the pins. Make sure you don't get any lubricant on the threads though. That's actually going to slide back and forth on the caliper as the disc pads wear. That takes care of the driver's side. We'll go over to the other side and repeat the process. As with any job, to do it right, you'll need the right tools. The nice thing is that jobs today don't require a large, expensive assortment. Basic hand tools are generally all you'll need. In case where a specialty tool is required, be sure to check with AutoZone's Loan a Tool program. They have many specialty tools that can help you complete your job a lot quicker and easier. The first things you'll need are a socket set, brake line wrench, drop light, and a repair manual for your specific vehicle. You may also need screwdrivers or pliers to remove some components. A torque wrench is necessary for tightening nuts and bolts to the correct specifications. When lifting a vehicle, never work under it until it has been secured with wheel blocks and securely positioned on jack stands. A hydraulic jack alone is never enough. Be cautious when working with oils and chemicals. Many are damaging to the groundwater environment and toxic to people and animals. Never drain or pour chemicals into the ground or sewer systems. Local municipalities and counties offer resources for proper disposal. And always, remember to wear your safety glasses. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Get the entire DVD for this repair and all other procedures covered in the complete car care series at your local AutoZone store.